We left uh, San Diego last Thursday and essentially followed I-10 uh, with a little help with the G300 that's in the airplane and flew the airplane for about three and a half days to get it here in Tampa and we put 16.7 hours on the airplane. We made about 10 stops because with the fuel load that we had, we're limited to about two and a half hour legs. And so we planned for two hours with a 30 minute reserve. Surprisingly, we were able to accomplish the trip without too much of a weather delay. We did allow ourselves four days to get to Tampa and we used three and a half of those days. Airframes are airframes, you know, whether it be this airplane or the 152, you know, you're going to learn the same, but you're going to be learning something different as far as the resources that are available with the G300, the terrain, the situational awareness with weather. I would have to say that it would have been a little bit more difficult for us to make this trip safely and also, let's say, uh, comfortably if we didn't have what we had on board with the G300. It really takes out a lot of the surprises when you've got that much situational awareness in front of you as you're trying to provide the instruction to the student. Try to get well versed on the G300, mainly so there isn't a lot of heads down time. Also, uh, look at the practical test standards for the sport pilot certificate, if that's the type of certificate that the person is going to be trying to obtain, because it is a little bit different from the private pilot. And um, be a little bit more open in how you teach in a sport type of airplane versus a normal category part 23. It is a little bit different, mainly in handling characteristics. It's an extremely light airplane, so you have to change some of your thought processes in regards to winds because it's about uh, 200 and some odd pounds less than a 150, so it's, it's light on its feet. It's one thing that about light sport airplanes, again, is that uh, we're typically used to pulling the power 15 to 1700 RPM of beam, the numbers, and then gradually milking it off from there. This one, you're gonna have to bring it down considerably less than that, keep it down to idle as well. This one's a little bit more of a traditional, if you will, uh, Cessna airframe, which makes it a little bit more stable, a little bit more easier to handle for the student pilots that would be looking at flying this particular airplane. Aero TV is brought to you by. If you own a Cirrus today or if you're considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.